Hello beautiful Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. Those of you who are new, hi, hello and welcome. My name is Victoria from BX Prada. It is such a pleasure to be connecting with you all today and thank you for clicking this video, all right? So today's reading is going to be a general message. I'm going to be doing a quick brief um, check-in on all of you. So it's going to be like a little vibe check, all right? If your sun, moon, rising, or Venus is in the sign of Sagittarius, then these messages can resonate, all right? And since these are general readings, um, take what resonates and ignore the rest because not all the messages are going to resonate with you. That's just how it is, okay? So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to be um, pulling on, you know, just the overall entry surrounding you at this time. And um, I'm guided to like not really focus on love or life and all that stuff, okay? But I will be coming to you guys really soon for your um, November monthly reading. And that will obviously be more in depth, all right? I'm also going to be launching my Patreon very soon. So keep an eye out for that, okay? I'm speaking like in the next couple of days. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to be posting exclusive content. So you'll be getting weekly readings for the signs. I'm also going to be posting all of my YouTube videos um, ahead of time, right? So those of you who don't like waiting for your monthly readings, you'll be getting them ahead of time and you'll be getting them ad free as well. And I'll also be popping in at times to do a um, live stream with you guys and just discuss anything pertaining to tarot, astrology, um, you know, current events and whatever is on my mind, life, love, anything really. So I'm really excited to be connecting with you all and follow me on Twitter if you haven't yet at VX Prada. That's definitely where I'll be um, launching my Patreon as soon as it's it's going as soon as it's live all right so how are you feeling today happy full moon and happy halloween i hope that you are staying hydrated and you are taking care of yourself a lot of things are resurfacing at this time so i'm just really encouraging you to take it easy and to let yourself experience whatever it is that is coming up and to release whatever it is that you are guided to release okay so let's go ahead and get into the reading if you want to book a personal session, the information is in the description box. If you follow me on Twitter, it's also in my bio, all right? So let's see what's going on with Sagittarius at this time. We got two cards that fell out. We got the um, Ten of Swords in reverse, followed by the Knight, I mean, sorry, Ten of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Wands in reverse. All right, so are you feeling drained right now, Sagittarius? Are you feeling as though you need some time off? Maybe you've been feeling as though you've been really overworking yourself and you're feeling uh, drained. I'm feeling a lot of um, lack of physical energy surrounding you. Maybe some of you guys are actually taking on less work at this time, which is amazing. I'm really seeing that you need to be resting at this time. Even if it's a little hard to sleep during the full moon, just really try to prioritize relaxing, okay? And maybe some of you guys need to actually work a little harder. I'm feeling as though you are coming outside of your shell. So you are really stepping out of any type of um, insecurities you may have been feeling in the past. And I feel as though you are now given like newfound, you know, like you're kind of being pushed towards stepping outside your comfort zone, okay? So I just want you to be able to be clear-headed and well-rested when you do get, you know, that, that push from the universe to propel you forward towards your next phase of life okay like I said you're guided to step out of your shell this is especially for those of you who have been in full-on hermit mode for the past while all right um, and if there are big goals and 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 things that you are working towards achieving I'm really feeling as though it's time to not put too much pressure on yourself to get it all up and running right at this time all right the Ten of Wands does speak about having a lot on your plate. So I'm feeling as though you need to release any type of um, burdens or responsibilities that aren't actually yours to be holding on to and really make room for what it is you are prioritizing, what it is you are working towards manifesting at this time. It's really a time to start getting um, more focused, definitely. And like I said, figuring out your priorities. That's going to be number one. We do have a conjunction. I believe it is um pluto saturn jupiter i really hope i'm not wrong but there is a significant conjunction coming up soon and this is going to be a huge 
um, movement forwards because the retrogrades are finally going to come to an end, all right? So I'm speaking around the second week of November, we will be feeling driven to actually start taking action. So Sagittarius, all this to say, it's time for you to start planning and um, focusing on baby steps that you can take in order to manifest whatever your end goal is, okay? This could be uh, relationship-wise, you know, this could pertain to your love life or this could pertain to your savings account. Maybe you're working towards um, launching a project Project, all right, those of you who are working uh, for yourself as well, this is especially for you. Let's see more for Sagittarius. Yeah, there was something here that was making you feel drained, Sagittarius. I feel as though you were feeling trapped or as though you didn't have control over your situation. And I'm wondering why that is. We got the King of Wands in reverse, which is your um, fire energy here. And then we got the uh, Knight of Swords, okay? So it feels as though there may have been um, ideologies that you were holding on to that were making you feel restricted. I'm feeling also a lack of self-discipline and also a lack of patience when it comes to you, Sagittarius. So I'm feeling as though you weren't really um, feeling all that confident and all that powerful as of late, okay? Or maybe you're experiencing this right now. So if you are feeling as though this pertains to you, I'm feeling as though you, like I said, you need to start planning more realistic goals and setting small intentions to be meeting um, every single day all right so I'm feeling as though it's not time for you to try to do everything at once but just slowly you know start working towards this goal of yours all right um, and focus on patience and focus on um, yeah focus on not being reckless right now it's it's not the time to be joking around I know that it's been a really tough time um energetically sagittarius but it's not time for you to give up just yet and it's definitely not time for you to start fooling around all right so listen to your inner guidance and work towards doing better and being better because the universe is definitely testing you for these last couple of weeks okay so let's see if you can um pass the test because once you pass the test and you got jupiter on your side and you got saturn on your side it's going to be positive movements forwards okay so keep that in mind okay what else we got we got the um strength card in reverse all right maybe some of you guys are dealing with a leo things may not be going too well there you may be doubting your connection but overall i'm feeling as though um self-doubt is really causing a lot of issues for you right now sagittarius and um i need you to remember your inner power i need you to remember where you come from and what you have overcome up until this moment because the king of wands is some serious boss energy this is a leader this is someone that um actually inspires those around them this is someone that leads by example and this is someone that has really great potential specifically when it comes to leadership and stepping into their own power so this is the potential that you have at this time um sagittarius but you're simply not allowing yourself to fully tap into the the power within you the resilience within you all right and i think it's really time for you to recognize how far you have come and um let yourself be patient as you start getting this motivation to get back into the world all right i hope that makes sense let me pull um let me pull some moon cards for you because I feel like as though you may be in need of some uh, direction right now some to my advice so let's pull some moonology cards okay first card that pulled out is actually full moon in Sagittarius so this is specifically for the Sag right there specifically if you have um, moon in Sagittarius and it says look at the bigger picture so this is what I'm saying I'm feeling as though you're kind of getting caught up with um, with not being where you want to be at this time and you're not appreciating the present moment one thing that i want to let you know is that uh, you still have control over the situation and even if you don't have complete complete control because that's just the nature of life that we are experiencing here on earth we don't have control out over every single outcome but there are little things that you can still control have control over and you're guided to um to tap into these things so that they can help bring your confidence back up but there's definitely um something that you need to step outside of and kind of observe the situation for what it is look at the bigger picture so set set your emotions aside all right I'm really feeling as though you're not you're not wanting to 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 deal with emotions right now, the emotions of others or even your emotions. Okay, so all right, cool, do that. Step outside your emotions and see things for what they really are because I'm feeling as though chances are things are a lot better than you may think that they are. So there's something here that you're missing. All right, let's see more. We got the end of a tough cycle is near. Yeah, full moon in Capricorn. This is that Saturn energy I've just been describing to you. Um so 
keep that in mind okay hard work is is going to pay off capricorn is all about discipline so those of you who have not been doing the work those of you who have been definitely slacking it's time to stop slacking all right you're kind of late but there's still a bit of chance for you to to redeem yourself so it's time to get really serious about life lessons it's time for you to get really serious about long-term goals goals that require commitment goals that require structure goals that require you to step into uh, an authority figure all right so you may be making demands now you may be needing to truly level up in any sense of the word however that applies to you and then we got the full moon in scorpio which is it's time to release negativity so this is especially for those of you who have scorpio placements you know sun moon rising venus for instance all right it's definitely time for you to remove remove any type of a negative um, thinking pattern. I'm feeling as though um, this lack of energy and ambition that you've been experiencing lately, it's maybe causing you to not feel like yourself right now. And I really need you to snap out of it and utilize the full moon energy that we are having uh, today on October 31st. This energy will be potent for the next two weeks. So don't think that you only have tonight to do all the releasing you have to do. I'm really guided to tell you Sagittarius, to write everything down that you're trying to release all right you start you start by saying i release blah 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 i release blah 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 i release blah blah and then you're gonna have to burn that that letter like burn it completely to the ground ashes you're gonna have to burn it completely find a safe way to burn it but burn it completely you need to make sure the whole letter is burnt because there's a lot of things that you're guided to release, but I feel as though you are holding on to it due to fear. You're holding on to it maybe because you're feeling as though like I haven't been lucky in a while and now I'm fearing what the future has in store for me. So I'm just going to hold on to this feeling of, uh, you know, feeling insecure. I'm going to hold on to this feeling of like not not fully tapping into myself and the Jupiter energy that that surrounds the essence of Sagittarius energy. All right. So there's there's some little minor things that you need to sort out definitely. But I feel confident that you'll be able to get through this this situation or this period that you are going through. Because again, remember, the end of a tough cycle approaches. And then I pulled another card and look, you got the new moon in Sagittarius card. OK, so first of all, take a look at my deck. OK, I'm not pulling from I mean, this deck may look small to you. OK, but there are many, many cards in this deck. OK, many, many cards. All right. You're not even seeing all the cards. I have many cards in this deck. And what are the odds that, you know, two out of the four cards I pull pertain specifically to your Sagittarius placement? right so this card is saying luck is on your side it's the new moon in sagittarius card so for everyone watching this is further confirmation that you are approaching something where you are gaining momentum and things are changing for the better all right because it's clearly lucky like i did not pull this card all day today i've been filming i've been doing personal readings this is the first time that both these cards come up today so it's very significant for you guys all right just gonna put that out there i'm going to quickly look into love and then i'll see you next time i'll see you guys next week probably for the monthly readings and like i said you can sign up for my patreon so that you see them ahead of time and i'll also be posting like extended uh extended readings pertaining to the monthly readings I'm all right sorry y'all my camera cut out but we're back okay so energy surrounding love i'm gonna try to keep this as you know uh you know i'm gonna try to express as many scenarios i'm picking up on with these cards because i know that everyone's going through different situations so let's just see overall energy surrounding love for sagittarius i am seeing that there is a um <laughs> romance coming in and passion all right so this is like my card for um for physical intimacy so you may be feeling very passionate i'm also picking up on something um coming out of the blue all right so this really reminds me of the blue moon that we're having right now it is making aspects with um uranus which is the plant of uh surprises basically so i'm feeling as though a lot of you could be finding like a surprise um newfound passion or enthusiasm when it comes to your love life maybe if you're in a relationship things are suddenly picking back up again or if you are single you may be feeling like there is someone coming forth to you all right we got the queen of pentacle cards so maybe you have um earth placements or you are attracting an earth placements i am specifically picking up on um capricorn because there is a lot of uh there's some cardinal energy here. So you could be attracting a Capricorn. Let me see more. 
I'm feeling as though there's newfound commitment found within your love life. So either you are single right now and you are, you know, becoming closer to yourself and finding out your wants and your needs. I'm feeling as though you're in a really good place financially here as well, Sagittarius. And this is for all of you, for those that this resonates with. You're in a really good place um, financially. I feel so you have uh, abundance surrounding you and you're feeling really in tune with your spiritual self as well. I'm feeling as though you are starting to feel uh feel complete again so this is a really good time for you to be attracting people because i'm feeling as though likely are going to be attracting people that are committed and people that are you know actually about their business okay so let me see more uh we got the four of cups yeah it's likely that some of you guys already have met someone but you may have overlooked their the romantic uh potential of this person so if that's the case i do feel as though the universe will great will be bringing you two together in some way all right those who are in relationships, I definitely see your connection strengthening, okay? And you may also be dealing with a uh, an air sign, okay? I'm getting specifically Aquarius. Could also be a Gemini Libra, but I'm really picking up on Aquarius energy specifically. Let me see more. But yeah, I'm seeing like newfound passion. Even if you aren't... Um, even if you aren't, you know, sexually active at, at this moment or there's absolutely no one on your mind and no one comes your way during the next two weeks, I do feel as though there's like newfound passion here. And look, I'm getting the Knight of Pentacles again. I'm really saying that for a lot of you singles, there's going to be newfound commitment. Someone is going to be proposing some type of offer to you and it's likely going to be an offer worth accepting okay specifically if they are an earth sign taurus capricorn virgo yeah and then we got the the eight yeah the eight of pentacles it was actually in reverse i'm feeling as though a lot of you guys need to take a step back from work and focus towards inner fulfillment uh giving your love life a chance okay because you're too stressed over other things but this could also be a virgo that you're attracting let me see some last few cards i don't want this reading to be too too long because i'm gonna be right back and see you guys crazy soon let me see more I'm feeling as though someone wants to sweep you off your feet, which, whether this is someone you're already with, uh, I'm seeing your connection like becoming stronger, okay? So um, I'm really feeling as though someone is putting in the work here. This could be you or the person you're attracting. Oh, wow, but I'm seeing like the card for marriage and a happy family coming together, all right? So especially if you have children with this person or want to have children, I'm also feeling as though there is a long distance um, connection here where you guys are able to see each other or um, yeah, at least see each other or even possibly move in together. Typically this, this, this represents like a long distance relationship that has failed. So maybe you are bouncing back from that. Okay, some of you guys may be experiencing a breakup when it comes to a long distance relationship, specifically a relationship that um, has to do with a Virgo or a water sign. All right, but I'm feeling as though, um, let me see. I'm feeling as though if you're dealing with a Virgo, they're coming right back to you. And you guys may be arguing back and forth, but this person will be coming back to you. I'm not sure what the outcome is going to be, but I'm feeling as though you're feeling a little bit better about the connection specifically. I said Virgo, but this could also be another earth sign. Um, so I'm feeling as though, yeah, some of you guys that have any type of distance when it comes to someone, either you guys will be coming back together and spending physical time together, or um, you will be... Um, yeah, experiencing some type of separation. I'm really picking up on like spending uh, spending alone time. So, oh, sorry about that. Spending some time alone, all right? Okay, let me pull a few um, cards for uh, from the Psychic Tarot deck, just overall energies to leave you on. I need to get back to personal readings. So this is why this reading was a little quick. Let me see. We got positive movement forwards, number eight. That can maybe be a, a significant number for you. We also got a material harvest. So like I said, this is a really good time for you to be manifesting um, financial abundance. As those of you looking for work or looking for, uh, you know, your work life to move on, progress to another level. We got the harmony card here in reverse. So some of you guys are in a soulmate connection at this moment. Or some of you guys may realize that your soulmate connection is basically revolving around sex 
and physical attraction and you actually don't really have that uh that emotional you know that emotional connection that you're seeking okay so this is especially true of those who are dealing with a um an earth sign as well okay there's that mess different messages for everyone so i hope that this was helpful in any way please make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe hello subscribe and also turn your bell post notifications on so you do know when i pull up because i will be pulling up all right happy halloween everyone and i love you